Hi, this is one of two short videos um, to show how easy it is to um, check the operation of a Mark II PV power router when you haven't actually got all the items that you need. Um, in our case, um, what we're missing is some sunlight. We've had a pleasant day up here on Merseyside, um, five kilowatt hours, six kilowatt hours if I can read it, here we are, six kilowatt hours we've had today. So although we've got a hot tank of water now, we're only getting 67 watts of PV, which is not enough to power the house, particularly as I've um, got the garage lights on at the moment. So here is the system that's done it, as you've probably seen on videos before, nothing uh, special. Um, Mark II power router, as um, detailed on the open energy uh, monitor, and in particular the forum. Um, so this is the um, current transformer which generated our power today uh, and since the, since the system effectively went to sleep I've done nothing other than wrap these um, this thin wire around. I could manage to get six turns of this uh, wire only because the aperture on the CT is quite small. So those six turns allow the current that's taken by a light bulb, which is a 100 watt light bulb, uh, which is simply powered straight off the mains um, to pass around the CT. Um, what this does is influence the um, signal that the CT um, is taking. So rather than just measuring the power coming uh, from the grid, because this is uh, adjacent to the um, grid supply point, there's our standard uh, Landis meter two pole isolator, so I can wire things up on this side but not on the other side. Um, so one of the, t of the six terms with the 60 watts uh, flowing is going to counteract the incoming uh, flow in terms of flux uh, and the other five turns is going to make it look as though 300 watts of um, current 300 watts uh, of energy flow is uh, flowing outwards. So at the moment um, we are not registering um, any heating of our water because with only 60 watts of PV and the house is drawing more than that. The energy bucket on my Mark II uh, rig is uh, sitting there at the bottom. Nothing's happening. So if I were to um, simply switch on the power, uh, the light will come on, the current will flow through here, and with any luck we should start seeing something uh, here. So the energy bucket is slowly filling up with 300 watts of simulated uh, power, and there we are. We're starting to flash. Um, that looks like between one and two a second. So maybe there's a hundred watts of genuine spare power. Now if we have a look um, at the meter here, this is an analog meter which I've put in, you can just see the mark coming past. So you can see the jerky movement as it comes past. So every jerk is the um, triac coming on putting 60 watts, 60 joules I should say, of energy into the, um, into the hot water cylinder. So a hot water cylinder um, is taking the power. Uh, we're clearly not at maximum thermostat. Maybe we've run off a little bit of water since it, um, since it ran earlier. Um, but normally when you look at this meter um, during operation, it's jinking backwards and forwards. Well now it's jinking forwards and forwards. Um, so all, that, all I've really wanted to show is that you can check that the system is able to be working even when you haven't got sufficient PV uh, to make it work. And I've done that simply um, by this simple technique of wrapping a little bit of extra um, mains wire around the CT. So if I switch this off, as I switch it off, um, the flashing will immediately stop. No more flashing and no more lumpy movement of, um, of the dial. If I can just there we are. So the dial is now going around slowly because we're simply using power in a conventional manner. So that's how to, um, that's one way, an easy way of showing getting a Mark II uh, power router uh, to work, to test it when you haven't uh, got uh, sufficient sunlight to make it work. And you can be pretty confident if you put 300 watts of simulated power through it that uh, next day, assuming you get some decent weather, uh, the system should start up. Nice smooth passage of the bar. So that's the end of uh, that little demo. 
and I have to think about how I'm going to make the next one work, but I'm sure it'll uh, it'll happen soon. Thanks for watching.